Hi, I'm Barry Thompson from Pacific Powerboat Magazine, and today we're looking at the all-new Haynes Hunter SP635. A couple of years ago, Haynes Hunter released the SF635, which is a full cabin of the boat with a mimini top, but they knew eventually they were going to have to come out with a hard top version. Now, making a hard top in a boat this size is tricky. You want to make it look right, it's got to flow. And the last thing you wanted to do was look like a, a pillar box on the top of a hull. They have succeeded. They have made a beautiful line. The flow through from the deck line to the hard top here, it all looks like it was always meant to be there. The 635 in both the SF, the Sports Fisherman, and, which is soft bimini, and the SP, which is Sport Pursuit hard top, replaces completely the 600 and the 650. What Haynes Hunter did was they didn't just go and modify what they already had, they said no, clean sheet of paper. So brand new CNC cut hull, new methods of construction, the whole thing is totally new. And it replaces two good boats into one which I think is even better. So let's have a look through. Haynes Hunter wanted to present a boat that all you had to do was add your gear and the rest was already provided. For example, not only does it come with a 12 inch Simrad MFD, but you also get C-Zone, digital switching, zip weights, Luma auto capstan, three USB ports, LED lighting, unit and VHF, total scan through hull transducer, and I could go on. And indeed an outstanding list of standard features, but still if that's not enough, you can always add things like a cockpit shade, ski pole, wash down system, live bait tank, U-deck, flooring, and a toilet. You end up with a boat that's absolutely, totally spec. And when it comes to power, you've got a choice of a single Yamaha 150 through to 200 outboard. You can have digital steering and Hellmaster. Plus it all sits on a tandem axle brake DMW trailer. Some differences between the now discontinued 600 and 650 are apparent when you step aboard. The dash is redesigned to accommodate a 12 inch MFD, previously you only get nines. The helm seat has changed from a pedestal to a moulded base with a pull out split lid cooler bin and more large drink holders are scattered throughout. The 635 also is able to take a through hull transducer and you can put a one kilowatt transducer on there as well. For the fisherman, you know, you're going to get the, get the muscle. The new open hard top has toughened glass windscreen, side panels, twin wipers and freshwater washdown. Haynes Hunter developed a simple but smart idea that sees the side windows slide back into the rear hard top pillars. Built of carbon composite, the hard top weighs only 22 kgs and Haynes Hunter also developed their own outrigger bases. The hull has also been redesigned and features a different bower entry and reverse chines, but still retains that 21 degree dead rise, which gives the Haynes Hunter such a great ride, and which we proved today, coming over about a half a metre chop, uh, white capping on Norton Harbour and Motorhead Channel, and anyone who knows that knows that it gets up pretty rough, and the boat just ran beautifully. It was a pleasure to drive. One thing I noticed, the stiffness of the boat, and the solidness. It's now got a foam core composite structured floor bonded to the hull, and it really, it really works. It gives that boat that rigidity. On the floor, it's mainly sealed off buoyancy with a 195 litre fuel tank down the centre and a deep locker forward. Now, even the space under the forward berths are sealed. The Haynes Hunter SP635 meets all the flotation requirements for CPC. And essentially, it's unsinkable. Like all Haynes Hunters, there's a definite slant towards fishing but not at the expense of family boating. The cockpit is open and uncluttered with extra bin seats tucked away under the aft deck area that can be brought out when required. The padded storage locker hatches on the rear combings double up as backrests when the bin seats are used. Otherwise, it's all fishing space. There's an optional bait board with carbon fiber legs, plenty of rod holders, and the large drink holders that double up somewhere to put your lures, hooks, and sinkers, something I always like. The 635 retains the traditional Haynes Hunter portside king and queen seat with a massive storage area beneath. Overall, there's a comfortable seating for about five or six in the cockpit. Small dedicated trays on either side handle the bits and bobs, and there's also three USB ports. Once you get in the cabin, a twin 1.8 meter long berths is provided to relax during the day or overnight. An optional electric flushing or port loo toilet is available and the infill makes a big squab so the entire cabin becomes one large berth. So you, you can go overnight there if you want to. Storage is available in a couple of forward lockers 
and trays on the side and under the forward centre squab. And there's a privacy curtain that's also provided if someone's going to have to use the loop. One of the neat features on the boat is Hellmaster EX boat control system. Hellmaster EX is a fully integrated boat control system that makes navigation and getting to your destination easier. And once you arrive, there's a whole new level of control and precise maneuvering. You've got the option of drifting, so you can put your waypoints in and if it follows it round, find spot lock basically on the GPS, over a big hole for fish, stop, don't have to put the anchor out. Something it's uh, a real bonus for the fishermen. Another cool feature on the SP635 that comes standard is C Zone. Now, C Zone has been around for a while, and on this particular boat, certain things have been programmed in which hang tend to feel you need in a boat this size. For example, the anchor lockout. So, if you're doing more than five knots, the anchor won't deploy itself. You've got dimming of all the lights, the light bait timer synchronizes the wipers and also the washers activate as per your car. So you get water on your screen, the wipers come on, fresh water. And what I like too is the ability to set the modes or the moves so that when you've been out fishing and you come into a bay and you've done all your clean up and you're having a quiet run boat, you push it into party mode. Or if you're cruising back and you want quietness, the cruise mode. So the lighting and everything are just sets tone. Perfect. That was a good good run. We just came back from uh, back at Motorhe. We came through Motorhe Channel and it was rough. Sat on about 18 knots. I was absolutely amazed. The boat tracked beautifully. The Yamaha electronic steering, which is effortless. You just let the wheel go, it didn't move. The zip wakes keep the boat really level all the way through. I got a lot of water over the front, but the wipers pop on so you can see where you're going. And what impressed me was the stiffness of the boat and it really felt dry. A lot of water going over the back. I'm glad we had a hard time on today. But uh, yeah, very, very impressive ride. Haynes Hunt has been one of the market leaders for over 50 years. And one of many ways they've always been traditionalists, they've also kept pace with the changing trends. They have a reputation for building high quality boats that perform and the new SP635 is certainly testimony to that. Well aware of the popularity of hardtop, it's no surprise that they have released the new SP635. It is compact, and practical, in every aspect it makes sense, because it still looks every centimetre a Haynes Hunter.